Hey guys, what's up? It's Dr. Cashin, Exploring Chiropractic, with an unboxing video or an unenveloping video. I need my letter opener. Grab it. Should not be running up and down the stairs with this. Today, Crisp Volume 2. If you're a new student, you want something to help really crystallize everything that you've learned in school, highly recommend it. I hope you guys have heard of this. Dr. Don Murphy is a chiropractor researcher out in Rhode Island. He has done some great research. Uh, he is uh, one of the um, proponents of the primary spine practitioner idea. This is where chiropractors would be the go-to doctors for anybody with any type of pain related to the spine. Came out with his brand new book, which is the second in the volume. If you guys haven't seen it yet, boom. CRISP is Clinical Reasoning in Spine Pain, and this was volume one, and I'm excited. Just this week was released volume two. Let's get into it. Ooh, mmm. Here it is, nice red color. Kind of reminds me of Yoko Monroe. But take a look at this. Whew. Volume two, obviously, volume two is on cervical disorders. It's a little bit thicker, quite a bit thicker actually. Disclosure, I have not read volume two. In fact, I am not done with volume one. I am like more than halfway through but I've not read it. So this is not a book review, um, but I'm really excited for volume two, getting into cervical disorders. But this one also, as you can see in the subtitle, includes case studies. So this is gonna be really nice. Let's take a look here, what we find. Table of contents, three questions. It makes it really simple. Do the presenting symptoms reflect a visceral disorder, a serious or potentially life-threatening illness? That's the red flags, right? Number one, red flags. Number two, where is the pain coming from? You gotta find the pain generator. And then number three, what is happening with this patient as a whole that would cause the pain experience to develop? That's the biopsychosocial. This is where you differentiate between acute pain and chronic pain. Hint, in chronic pain, almost always there's a psychosocial aspect to it. Outcome assessments, and then management. So treatment approaches based on diagnostic question two or three, Oh good, he mentions thoracic, so that's why it's a little bit thicker here. Cervical and a chapter on thoracic disorders. And case studies in primary spine care. This is what's going to be exciting. Let me go check this out. 273, chapter 9, mm. case studies in primary spine care. This is going to be cool because I know about you guys, what I didn't get out of school was putting all of this stuff together, right? We've got adjusting class over here, neuromusculoskeletal over here. We've got physical diagnosis. Um, but really, like, what is it from end to end, from the patient first walking in to discovering, figuring out what's wrong, how, how good we can be at that, like how clear can those diagnoses be? In, when they're not clear, what do you do? And this kind of answers a lot of that. So I'm looking forward to reading these case studies blanks here where we can fill in the answers to diagnostic questions one, two, and three as we read through the case study. So there is a thread on Facebook this week. A student was asking, hey, I'm graduating soon. What books should I get? What do you recommend? This came up. Chris, and to be honest, I would replace most of the curriculum with these textbooks. Of course, you've got to have the details that we get in school. You really do. Like, I'm not saying you could get rid of chiropractic school. Introduction to spine care, all in here. Boom. One, two. If you're a new student, you want something to help really crystallize everything that you've learned in school, or if you're a pra uh, practicing doc that's been out for quite a while, and you just want to refocus and reevaluate how you're approaching patient care, I highly recommend it. Get them on Amazon. I've got links here, both around 60 bucks. Hope it's helpful to you as well.